years. Texas A&M's College of Engineering is putting the best minds from 40 international colleges to the test. KRHD reporter Rebecca Fiedler shows us how an Aggie Land event hopes to improve our world. University students from all across the globe have congregated here in College Station to present their inventions, which they believe could change the world. Each year, Texas A&M invites teams of student inventors to compete with one another in creating a product or service that would provide humanitarian or environmental benefit to the international community. It's innovation that is created to help your life. You can live your life inside a capsule and you can be safe from the disaster. Is uh, on the earthquake, on the flood, on the tsunami, or whatever. This Thursday, seven finalist teams from various U.S. states and world countries presented their prototypes before a panel of judges in College Station. We've had startups continue. We've had a number of different ideas continue forward. And that's what we're hoping these teams will do. This year, students from Texas, New Mexico, Thailand, Greece, and Brazil presented inventions that would promote personal safety, third world agriculture, and disability assistance. This team from Texas A&M Corpus Christi ended up placing third with an invention that assists blind children in place of a service animal. What I love about my engineers is they're very good with like the tech part and understanding how to just construct something. Each team is comprised of students from varying academic disciplines. Often engineering and computer science are involved, but liberal arts, business and education majors play critical roles on these teams. I was able to show them the human design and I was able to help them center and narrow the focus on the empathy of the user. The winners in this case were all American with a Texas A&M team winning first place. The winners of today's competition not only receive thousands of dollars in prize money, but they will also be connected directly to Texas A&M's College of Engineering and given access to the entrepreneurship resources there. Reporting in College Station, Rebecca Fiedler, KRHD News.